coming back to the topic, because I'm, I'm sure you read what the topic for this presentation was. It's the real-time image processing using Python in Tableau. And the integration of Python, R, and other technologies with Tableau is pretty common. And we, will like, we would like to take this opportunity to discuss through the use case and the challenges we went through. And we had multiple solutions that we actually presented to the client. And we'll briefly discuss about other options that we presented to the client and why and how they came to a decision to pick this specific solution, right? So we're going to have a very detailed description of the use case, the challenges, the architecture, design, and approach, and the solution implemented. And Olivia here is going to show you the actual demo, setting up the server up to the image, the real-time image you see in the Tableau front-end dashboard, right? <clears throat> so a little bit about our company. We are from Archetype Consulting, based out of Boston, Massachusetts. We're a small consulting firm. We do end-to-end -end -end solution implementation for clients across several domains. It's a very fun company to work for. As you can see, that was our recent party on a cruise. That's not all. There were a few folks missing. But it's, it's really fun to work with these guys. We handpick our employees, and everybody is extremely smart. So I'm going to introduce you to Olivia here. She is our BI technical expert, and she is a wizard when it comes to Tableau and visualizations. She's worked across clients implementing Tableau and uh, fulfilling their reporting needs. She is a desktop one, desktop two, and a server certified professional in Tableau. And she is so exciting to work with. She's always enthusiastic about everything she does. <laughs> and you. as you can see the picture, she is a great dancer. That's her. <laughs> Bad so dance. if we get to finish the presentation a little bit earlier, I could even talk her into giving you a performance. So <laughs> stick around even after the raffle is done. Maybe you might get a performance from her. She is excellent. I've seen her videos in performance. So she's excellent. So now that I've made enough fun of her, I'll give her, her, give her a chance to make fun of me. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much, Hema, for your very, very funny introduction. Now it's my turn. Let's jump into the introduction about Hema, what Hema does in Archetype. Hema, she is a very wonderful BI solution architect tech in our company. And she has worked through all different domains and uh, also, she has implemented the BI solution end-to-end -end for the clients. There are a couple of things I really want to share with you about Hema. In general, Hema is a very energetic person, as you can tell. Every day, she works into office with a very high level of energy, which is not uncommon, right? But uh, she also leaves the office with the same high level of energy, which we, I really admire. <laughs> and uh, that is just within uh, four, maybe four to five hours sleep, right? And uh, also, her, uh, she has a very positive uh, attitude toward the work, and uh, uh, her energy has kept our team spirit up and always impressed the client in our company. So there are always a lot of things I, uh, I'd love to learn from Hema. And uh, yeah, there is always something we can learn from everyone. So now let's take the chance to continue to learn what we show in the presentation. So Hema, you want to take over? Sure. I was not hoping for a funny introduction, but that was not bad. <laughs> so, <laughs> not I didn't bad. expect it at all. <laughs> so let's jump right into the presentation and not waste any time about talking about each other. <laughs> so the agenda we have here is pretty straightforward. Like I said, we're going to talk about the use case in detail. And we're going to talk about the challenges we had to fulfill the client needs. And we're going to talk about the design and the architecture and briefly also discuss the other solutions that we actually suggested and talk in detail about the solution that was implemented. So that's going to be the implementation process. And Olivia here is going to show you the Tableau server setup overview and also an end-to-end -end demo of the complete implementation process. We have tried to mock it up, mock it up as 
close as it can get, and uh, I hope you guys can benefit from that. So talking about the use case here. So a client was an energy saving company, right? <clears throat> so they deal with customers and transactions every day, thousands and thousands of transactions every day. So they had this need to store their customer receipts, images of their customer receipts in uh, internal drive. And they had Tableau already implemented, and they had a dashboard with a set of analytical reports and uh, trying to get uh, the end users do more analysis on the data they have. So one of the reports, one of the dashboards that they use multiple times a day as and when the data gets refreshed and also as and when the new transaction receipt images come in had a, had a necessity for the end user to go and look for the physical uh, image that's stored in the internal drive that the client had. So they had no way of looking up this specific image in the front end of the Tableau dashboard, right? So they had all these data stored in the database, and there was one column that told them the name of the image file that is in the internal drive the client had. So they do all their analysis, and they pick the name of the image file and go back to the internal drive. It's a lot of manual, trivial, I mean, tedious process to find the uh, file from thousands of uh, images that comes in every now and then into the system, and then pick the corresponding file and go with their analysis further, right? So this was a big pain point. It was taking a lot of time for every receipt, and every record is actually corresponding to one receipt image. So it was a very tedious process. And we were the ones who implemented Tableau for the client itself. So going through this, we suggested that it is, there should be a possibility to get it in, front, in the Tableau front end, right? So how difficult is it? There is an internal drive. You have the list of all the images stored. And how difficult is it to just access those images from the Tableau front, front end? When you think about it that way, it's not difficult at all. It should be pretty straightforward. But as you know, this is an advanced course, advanced presentation. So there's something about it which, is, which was challenging and which was implemented, right? So that was our use case and the challenge. So talking a little more about the challenge and uh, the current state like back then, this was the Tableau dashboard that they were using. The text is a little small, but if you see there is a image file name column which gives the image file name that is corresponding in the internal drive. And those receipt images look pretty much like this, uh, JP, JPEG form or any image uh, format uh, files that's stored in the internal drive. So they used to go manually and pick these files and do their further analysis. Right? The, the, this is how it looked before the uh, solution was implemented. So what is the challenge here? So why did we not, why wasn't it so easy for Tableau to directly access these images from the internal drive? Tableau is owned by the client. They have, they have the licensed version of Tableau in production. And the internal drive is also belonging to the client. So why is it so difficult? So the internal drive was so huge and they had a lot of audit issues, right? And they had lots and lots of sensitive security data, secure data. So they did not want or have the approval for the Tableau server to directly access this internal drive. So that was a challenge. Otherwise, we could just probably use the URL action feature, play a little bit with it in the Tableau front end, and probably get this done right. But the challenge was that the Tableau server could not access the internal drive, even if it was within the client <coughs> systems, right? So here's a very brief overview of the solution that we implemented. I don't want to take it all away from what Olivia has to say, so I'm just going to tell you in a very brief way what we did. So when you think that you don't have access to something, what would you like to do? Why don't you have access to it, right? Because it has all other data that you don't require or you don't need access to. So the very simple way, very logical way to think about it is extract just what you need and then work with it. And that's what we did. We tried to extract just the ones that we need, just the files that we need 
from the internal drive and then work off of it and get it to the Tableau dashboard, right? So that was the logical thought process that went into the solution design. And uh, here's a uh, picture that represents the entire architecture was of the current state back then. So the big X mark you see is the Tableau server access denied to the internal drive. So we had Tableau dashboards and we have the URL action feature, which could have been utilized here very quickly and straightforward to access these images, if not for the security issue. But this is where we are. So we would like to think about a feasible way for the client to come up with a solution that would reduce hours and hours of work on daily basis for multiple end users for several transactions, right? So now we've discussed about the use case and the requirement and the challenge that we faced, all the bad things. <laughs> I'll move it on, I'll give it on to Olivia to talk about all the good things of the presentation where we had the actual solution implemented. Olivia, you want to all take All right, over? thank you, Hema, for the very wonderful introduction and the explanation of our use case here. As Hema has mentioned that our client, client didn't allow the Tableau server to have any direct access to the internal drive because of security issue. So our solution, uh, solution process have to find a place which we can put those copied images from the internal drive, store them there, and uh, uh, this place should not raise up any security concern for the client. And once we have all of the copied images stored in that uh, place, let's call that place as destination now. Once we, so once we have all of the images stored in uh, that destination, then we will have the storage path link for each of the images uh, stored in that of a destination folder. The next, next step where it's easy, we just use the uh, path storage link to each of the image, put that link into the URL action in Tableau dashboard. So once you have built up your dashboard with the transaction data, and then you, when user click the transaction data and your report, the URL action will just take you to the corresponding images which you have stored in that destination folder. Sounds easy, right? But we have to think about the detail of each step we are going to do. Here comes to the first question, which place can choose is a destination, a destination folder. And uh, just at the same time, it will not raise any security concern for the client and it can help us store all the hit images from the internal drive. Actually, my team, they love using uh, Tableau and one day they just came, came across to a blog Doesn't switch, sorry.
So continue what I have mentioned. We are going to choose a place which we are going to host those copied images from the internal drive, and at the same time, it will not raise up any security concern for the client. So my team, they love using Tableau. So they never miss anything that's shared on the Tableau forum. One day, they just came across this forum, accessing the web server in Tableau server. But what is the web server? Actually, the web server is a server folder that built in Tableau server. And if you have, if you have interest, you can use this path to find this server folder. This is where the web server located. It's under your pro, usually under your program data, uh, Tableau server data folder, and tab SVC folder, HTTPD. Here you go. So what this folder is doing? Tableau actually has designed, designed this web server folder to host content for the Tableau server. Even though it is not used to host any external content, but users can always use this web server folder to include some dynamic content which you can actually put in your tab Tableau dashboard when you publish to server. So what does that mean? For example, in this folder, I have put a image, a picture, Tableau conference here, and the name of the picture is TC, uh, TC18. So what happened if I go to, I go to the web browser, uh, enter, which is my Tableau, I think. Okay. Hello, better? Awesome, <laughs> thank you. So I just go to my web browser and to local host 8000, which is my Tableau server host name, and the plus TC18, which is a name of the image I just put into the web server folder, and the plus the uh, uh, format PNG. If I click uh, click enter, boom! Here, uh, in, uh, a magic happen. The image is the image that I put into the web uh, web server folder just pump up uh, into this browser. So this can actually give us a very good idea, which can make the work very easier for us. What does that mean? Think about that. If we can put all of our images in the, inside this web server folder instead of the internal drive, and once we have all the copied images stored in this web server folder, we can use the UR generation format to generate a specific URL link to each of the images we have stored in the web server folder. And once since we already have the uh, image link, we just need to put the link into the URL action in the Tableau dashboard. So whenever the user click each of the transaction data through the dashboard, they, the URL action will link the user to the corresponding images which you have stored in the web server folder. So that is wonderful, right? Um, remember, I, uh, at the very beginning, I mentioned that we, the solution process we have implemented for the cl client, which actually consisted of two steps. First, we have to find a destination folder, which can store all of the copy images from the internal drive, and at the same time, not, it will not raise up any security concern for the client. 
And the second, we need build a URL link to each of the images which we can put into the Tableau dashboard, the URL action. Then when user clicks the transaction data, it will go to the corresponding images which we stored in web server folder. Now seems our job is done, right? Our week is, looks like we can just successfully implement the solution. It looks so easy, we just need to use the web server folder as a destination and put all the copied images uh, in this web folder and build the UI link through the dashboard, right? But if the process is easy, probably I, we will not be presenting here, right, Hema? So uh, next step, I'm going to uh, take you to something very fun. As the, today our topic is the real-time image process. What does that mean, real-time? So whenever, so whenever there is a new transaction data gets loaded into our database, the corresponding images will also be added into our internal drive also. And uh, for every hour, every minute, or maybe every second, there will be a lot of new transaction data gets loaded into the database, also the corresponding images, if, if you still have your business, right? So if you just think, okay, it's easy, we just do a one-time job to copy those images from the uh, internal drive and uh, store them in the web server folder, then job is done. But, uh, but something you are missing here, for example, at 1 p.m. now, I'm doing a one-time job to copy those images from the internal drive and uh, store in the Tableau's web server folder. But how? Check one, Sorry. two. Check one, two. Check one, two. Okay, I will try my best. Thank you. <laughs> uh, so I'll continue. <clears throat> okay. Okay. Uh, I mentioned at 1 p.m. we just do a one-time job to copy those images from the internal drive and store into the web server folder, but. How about those new images which be, will be added after 1 p.m. into the internal drive? Our web server folder will miss those newly added image, right? Because we only did a one-time copy-paste job. So, and the, the visualization report we built in Tableau is actually connecting with the database lively Imagine uh, after 1 p.m., if a user clicks some new data, tra new transaction data, which gets added into the database after 1 p.m., if the user clicks that data, then th there will be no image show up for that transaction data. Why? Because we don't have any new images copied, paste into the web server folder, right? Because it's just a one-time job. Then you may think, okay, that's easy, right? We can just like create a, some program task to synchronize the images between the internal drive and the web server folder. So by that way, we can maintain uh, images in the internal in the web server folder, same as what we have in the internal drive. But something you have to think about is. Uh, imagine we will have a huge data set, which means we will have millions of data, millions of transactions. If we have the images, all the, all the images about all the transaction data stored in our web server folder, it's gonna consume a lot of space. Do you want that? No, of course. And my team, they are very brilliant, and but sometimes they're just like too harsh on themselves. They push themselves very harsh, just want to do a perfect job for the client. 
So they don't like having millions of images just stored in the uh, web server folder. They don't like it. So what they prefer to do is only having the images whose, uh, tr whose transaction, oh, sorry, they, what they want is only to have the images whose transaction data is showing up in the Tableau dashboard to be copied and stored in the uh, web server folder. So as you all know that after you build up a dashboard, right, and uh, previously you have like applied different layer of reports and also different filters on that dashboard. So in your dashboard, you will only end up with a small part of your huge uh, data set. And uh, if uh, we only put those images which the data just on the dashboard and store them into the web server folder, instead of having millions of the images stored, we will just end up having hundreds of images stored in the web server folder. So millions decrease to hundreds. Great job, save space, right? But that sounds not so easy because how are we gonna find a program uh, or language or maybe code which can be used in Tableau? What does that mean? When user click, user speaks uh, Tableau by clicking the data on the dashboard and we want Tableau speak the program language to a program we create to say, hey, those are the data on my dashboard. Please go to that web, go to the internal drive to copy those images, corresponding images, and uh, store in the web server folder. That's it, right? But which program language we can use here? C++, Python, or Java? Can I know your answer? Yeah, as our topic already indicated here today, it's Python. So thank you so much, Tableau. It has a great Python integration function in Tableau uh, named TypeI, which is a new uh, API that you can uh, use to evaluate your Python code in your Tableau workbook. So as you know, if you have like certain of like Python script or Python function, you can just put that Python uh, function into put that Python function uh, into the calculated field of your uh, dashboard. Well, so whenever you open the dashboard the calculated field will be triggered to run. And at the same time, it will trigger the running of the Python function which you have embedded into that calculation. So what did my team do? Is they create a Python script to uh, define a user function, function named create URL. What does this function create URL doing is it's gonna pass in the image file name as a variable and uh, go to the internal drive to find the corresponding images and uh, paste those images into the, the web server folder. So uh, let's t take a look of how the code looks like. So it's saying it's just a sample code Actually, it's, even though it's just a sample code, it doesn't mean it's very easy code. Okay, it's very complex code. I'm just kidding. Actually, it's very easy code, very straightforward. Even though like a Python beginner like me or Hema, we can just easily understand the logic showing here. So let me just take you, uh, go through the uh, script we have created to define the create URL function. So first part, it defined uh, the function create URL and dog pass, which is using as variable to store the file image name. And 
the next part is going to specify the Tableau server host name and also the web server pass wait the web server pass which is indicate ind indicating okay where we're gonna copy and paste those images to and uh, also at the same time we are doing an additional process process which is converting the images from jpg to pdf that's why we have the you have used uh, uh, image conversion tool named Image Magic here to convert those images from JPG to PDF. Then, at the same time, the script is gonna gonna generate a unique name for each of the images to store in the web server folder. And of course, we cannot miss a very important part, which is pointing to the path to the internal drive, which is very end of the uh, end part of the script. It's spicing for uh, it is uh, giving you the exact path to the internal drive. So this part of the code is just doing copy the images from the internal internal drive and uh, paste them into our web server folder. So the next part of this code doing is creating the URL. So how this script, script is doing is it's using uh, a function named typei client library, which is a Tableau and uh, Python connectors to run <laughs> this job. And running this function, it will create a unique URL for each of the images you have stored in the web server folder. Remember, I have shown before, when you open the browser, you just enter the local Tableau server host name plus your image name. It will generate a web-based URL which you can use in the dashboard. So this part of script is doing that job. And also, in order to test if the script can be run successfully, our team also deploy another part. This part of the code is using the same function to test some like sample images to say if it can be successfully copied from the internal drive and paste into the web server folder. So, and uh, um, back, back, back to the previous slides. As we already saw how we create the, cre uh, create the function in Python, the name of the function, remember? Create URL, right? Which will help generate the URL link for each of the images you store in the web server. So after you did that, you just need to put this function you just created into the calculated field of in Tableau workbook. And uh, you say here the variable is passing by the image file name. So the result of the, this calculation is giving a final web-based URL to each of the images you stored in the web server folder. And next step, pretty straightforward, you just go your dashboard. So next step, which is pretty easy, you just go to your uh, Tableau desktop drag your worksheet into the uh, dashboard and uh, uh, put a web page under it and uh, also in the URL uh, action here in that, uh, corner, in that corner, right, uh, right corner, you just put the calculation with you just saw in the previous slides here by passing the UR, secure URL here. So then after you have everything set up, you just click any transaction data in this dashboard and the bingo, it will pump up the corresponding images which you have uh, stored in the web server folder. 
So that seems very fun, right? We finally successfully uh, make it happen. So, Hema, do you think we will be good to go to publish uh, this dashboard into our Tableau server? Yeah, I guess we got what we needed, and we have uh, the Tableau calculated field to create the URL and show us the image in the front end, right? So are we done? Yeah, save very positive altitude. I love that. But hang on, hang on. Now, yeah, just be patient. So you guys deal with me, right? OK, before you actually publish this dashboard into your Tableau server, a very, very important thing you have to do is Tableau server connection configuration. Because in your dashboard, you always know, OK, you already connect it with the Type I server. But how about Tableau server? In order to run your Python scripts and also your calculation, you have to make your Tableau server to be able to connect with TypePy server, right? So here I just put uh, the uh, command line you can use to, set, uh, to do the connection setup. First step, very general, and uh, it's a safe that step. Just first stop your Tableau server, and then tell the server, OK, you are going to do some external so server connection. And then you can go ahead, put your type I server host name, which is a, a local 9004. And if you have set up any password for your uh, type I server, and you just put it again. So now the connection between the Tableau between type I server and the uh, uh, Type I is it's good for now. Here is another very critical step we have to do. We have to set we have to set the insecure script to be true. Why we have to do that? Actually, uh, if your if your dashboard is using some calculation also connected with some external s service. And uh, in your calculation, if you have some like unsafe content, like you're putting some like parameter or script using some like script function, it will be a potential risk for your data to be hacked in Tableau Server. So always what we're doing is setting this to be false. But you, as you can see in previous slides, we have using the script function in Tableau to call the Python create URL function. So if we can have that content in our calculation, that calculation will not be able to run in our Tableau server, then we will not get the result we want. So the very important part here, I, I also have highlighted here, you have to set the insecure script to be true to enable your Python function or script to be able to run in Tableau server. The next step is do a configuration to make it all set and start your Tableau server again. So all set, now we actually be able to publish the dashboard into the Tableau server. So Hema, I just use some like slides to give like everyone some like general uh, explanation about the implementation process. I think you may have some interest to say the detail of the stuff, right? Yeah, she wants to call it informative slides. I want to call it the boring theoretical slides. <laughs> so let's go on with the actual practice of the entire solution quickly. Obviously, we couldn't, we won't be able to get connected to the client's internal drive, so we have tried to mock up uh, the same use case as much or as close as we could, we could get. So hopefully, uh, you'll be able to actually see the process in the demo and also go through it later. 
Olivia, can you go ahead with the demo? Yeah, sure. But before I actually go to the demo, what I want, just want to say is because it includes some technical step instructions, so just be focused with me. And also, after this demo, I'm going to give you a quick test to say if you actually can learn something. Is that okay? Test for you, Hema? Okay, okay, let's go. So as Hema has mentioned that we are not able to show internal drive at our client, client as I don't have the access now and it's not, not a good secure step to do it. So I just use my internal server and also my internal drive to mock up the case to actually show how we replicate this case here in my local uh, desktop. So here, in order to present the internal drive for the client, I have created a folder named secure, secure drive, which I mentioned I will use, to use, use it to present the internal drive of client. And uh, also, if you open this secure drive, I already have all the images stored here, just as an example. And also, as you know, I have installed a Tableau server here in my local laptop. So for the web server folder, I mentioned it's already here, right? So the next step, I'm going to do the demo now. No. So, and uh, as to save some time, I already installed the Tableau server and also type Pi server in my uh, local laptop. And uh, also, I already set up the service and the service already, server already is running. And uh, if you are curious of how to download the Tableau server or type Pi server, you just go Google and uh, search like Python integration with Tableau, I believe you will get tons of information of how you can uh, download and uh, install the TypePy server and how to connect your Tableau with the TypePy server also. So I just, to save the time, I just skip those uh, steps now. So the next step, what I'm going to do is to open a command line and uh, to run the Python script, which I have created here. This is the actual Python script, which I used to create the create URL function. So enable to let Python to have this function and it can be used in Tableau desk, uh, Tableau workbook. We ha what we have to do is we have to run the script first, which will deploy the function. So this is a uh, <coughs> script I just uh, did here. It's very straightforward, right? So after this, you say the script is already run successfully, which means the create URL function already deployed in Python server. Now we are good to use uh, that uh, function in our Tableau workbook. So next step, what I'm going to do is open my Tableau workbook. Just if you have any interest in our data, our data is very straightforward. We just have like each of uh, the transaction IDs and, and uh, for each of the transaction, we have the customer IDs and uh, also the corresponding image name, which you installed in the uh, internal drive and uh, also the transaction uh, post date and uh, the transaction sales amount. It's very straightforward uh, table. So here, um, um, you first you're gonna to check if your, uh, your, t your workbook is actually connecting with the server. So we all go just uh, enter your TypePy server host name and the port number here, and you are set to connect your Tableau workbook 
with a type I server. So next step, we can go ahead to build the calculation, which will give us the final URL, which can be linked to the corresponding images stored in the web server folder. So here is our calculation. Very straightforward. You just use script string function, function and uh, pass the image file name as a variable and call create URL function from Python. And uh, the result will be the URL link. So let's take a look. I just drop this column into my worksheet and give it some time to run. So what Tableau is doing now is it's using the file name here to look into the internal, internal drive to find the corresponding image there and uh, copy them, paste them into the web server folder and uh, finally generate a web-based URL which can be used to point to the corresponding images you stored in web server folder. And uh, here you can see the result of the It's just a web-based URL. And uh, if you enter this URL into your web, web browser, the corresponding images stored in the web server folder will pump up into your window. So this looks good, right? So for the visualization purpose, I just gonna hide this column first. And the next step, you just go to your dashboard, drag your worksheet here, and uh, put the web page object here. Do not enter anything yet. Just click OK. And uh, go dashboard, build the URL function, create, uh, add a new action, choose URL, and if I want to, want to select and uh, use the secure URL, which is a calculation I just worksheet. Just put that calculation into the window here and click OK. Now let's see uh, what will happen if we publish this dashboard into the server. So I'm now just gonna go ahead to publish workbook and uh, I just choose the default project, TC, and give a, a new name, TC 2018 and uh, click Publish. Say so this is a workbook I just published. And uh, if I just click any transaction data here, bingo. In this part here, the corresponding image is showing up. And also on the background, even though you have a huge data set, but only those images with whose data is showing on this dashboard is being copied and uh, stored in the web server folder. Save time, this is real time. And uh, anytime if you have any new images uh, pasted into uh, the internal drive, as your tablet dashboard is connecting with the database uh, lively, if your user click any new data, the script is just run to grab the new uh, grab the new images from the internal drive and store in the web server folder. Bingo, build the link and then it show up in your tablet dashboard. See so as how we successfully implement the real time image process for our client. So my demo is done, so it's time for the quick test. So hey Ma, here is my question. How do, how do you feel so far about the Tableau conference? Easy question, right? Yeah, I'm just waiting for tomorrow night's party, that's all. 
Okay, <laughs> all right. Actually, that's not a real question I'm going to ask. <laughs> so, hey, Ma, here's a real question. Can you help me to s summary for the implementation process we have did here? Oh, that's cool. It's very simple because it's all printed in your takeaway card. It gives you a summary of the entire solution, like a brief overview of the step-by-step -step solution that was implemented. So just to summarize, we created the Python user-defined function to copy just the specific images that the Tableau dashboard will uh, use and create the corresponding URL and use the URL action feature in the Tableau uh, front end, the dashboard front end and get the images for each of those records. So I hope you had uh, the information that you are looking for from this session and I hope this would help you in some way share implementations for any of the client challenges that you faced. And just let us know if you have any questions. The takeaway card has uh, our contact information as well and the deck has our contact information. So if you have any specific questions related to the presentation that we did, please feel free to email us and we'll try our best to answer your questions.